with over 300 winners and over a million dollars worth of hunts and merchandise given away to lucky winners. These are some of our favorite moments from over six years of bringing you exciting hunting action on Sportsman of North America. You know, it's, a, it's amazing that it's been six years now since we first started Sportsman in North America. This week, I hope we can get it through to a whole bunch more people and they can look and really see that this is a great club to be a member of. And here we go on another great show. All of a sudden, he just gets up and runs. So we get ready because something's up. Now I no sooner started glassing the left side, you know, Tom was, was nudging me, said, hey, hey, Mike, hey, there's some, some deer over here. I'm going to start to get ready. It was just a matter of seconds before he folded his wings and came right on a trot. What a beautiful pair. I wait for the shot, and uh, finally he saw him sneaking through the brush. That's a pair. I draw back. And uh, I get the deer in my scope. And my heart is racing then. I reach for the bow. I'm gonna take him now. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Straight down. Yeah. Good All job, right. man. He's down. He's down. We got him. He's down. He's down. Yes. Put her here. We got him. It was, it was really something. Everybody's there congratulating me. You uh, feel like you're walking on air. It's been a fantastic hunt. I want to thank the Sportsman of North America. They've been the, my ticket to the outdoors. Oh yeah. yeah. Nice deer. Look, he's got a blade right here. My first Wyoming mule deer. I won this hunt the Sportsman of North America. First bear ever. <laughs> thank you, sir. Sportsman of North America is truly my ticket to the outdoors. Now, with all the hunts that we've given away, one hunt really touched me more than any other. And it, and it was at that time that I really, re it really sunk in what we're doing here at Sportsman in North America. This guy comes from New Jersey. He drives a bus for a living. And we're shooting for the big one, but if we don't, hey, you know what? It's all fun and bear hunting, and it's wonderful, and we love it. And I want to thank Sportsman North America, Keith Powell, Mike, and Chad, and everybody else. Thank you so much for a wonderful hunt and a wonderful opportunity. I couldn't have done it without your help. Well, this is the big time. It's the hour to go, so we're going to head on out. So when Tony won this hunt, he went to Saskatchewan after a bear. And, and this is one of those deals where it doesn't matter how big the trophy is. It's the experience. It's the being there and being able to experience the hunt. The chances of, of Tony being in Saskatchewan on a bear hunt were pretty, pretty remote. That wasn't going to happen until he joined Sportsman in North America. Great shot, buddy. Thank you, Lord. God, thank you so much. I needed this. You should really tell. He's down. That's stilts. You got stilts. No. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Congrats, buddy. Congrats. Congrats. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Holy sugars. Wow. Oh man. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> A lot of these guys, these hunts are literally a one-time deal. And it's great that we can be a part of that. And, and it, it just blows my mind that we have given away over a million dollars worth of hunts. And the biggest problem that we normally have is skepticism. It's people thinking that there's something, there's a catch in this. And there's no catch in it. I mean, six years we've been doing this now, and by now, people, you know, there is no catch in it. This is what, what it is. You join the club, and, and it's super affordable. It's not like it's an expensive club to join, but you could be one of our lucky winners. We'll be back with more memories from some of our favorite winners right after this. Sportsman of North America is brought to you by Timbered Tall Tree Stands, Hard Rifles, Hunter's Safety System, MyPatriotSupply.com, Kicking Bear, Sportsman's Hunting Gear, Setlock, Boss Buck, Gordo's Cheese Dip, and Can Cooker. We are the only online hunting community that gives away a free hunt every week. It's only a mouse click away to sign up at www.sportsmanna.com. And while you're there, get a free subscription to our online magazine, The Outpost. We've given over 300 hunts away, which is, which is amazing. There's nobody, there's nobody in this business that is doing what we're doing. Every single week is a free hunt for somebody. It's just purely and simply, we are the biggest giveaway hunt TV show in the business. My name is Mark Berlin. I'm a field producer and editor with Sports in North America. And I've been filming for SNA for about four and a half years now. And uh, through the years, I've had the opportunity to film several of the winners as well as the pro staff, but mainly the winners. And um, I've got the opportunity to meet several, you know, interesting people, had great times on these hunts. You know, and, and uh, a few of them really stand out in my mind, but there's one in particular that really stands above the rest. Morris Slade won a hunt in southern Colorado for mule deer, and right off the bat, me and this guy just hit it off. Morris was just excited to be there. Uh, I think the furthest west he ever been was Mississippi, so just the fact that he got to see the mountains when I picked him up from the airport made his trip. Uh, on the way to camp, we saw, I think, some whitetail and mule deer, and he's just going crazy seeing all the game. Uh, so he was really laid back about the hunt. It didn't really matter to him if he got one or not. He was just really excited just to see the stuff that he'd never seen before. You, you never know if that's really the case, but he was genuine about it. He, he really did not care if he got an animal or not. He was just having a ball just being in Colorado. All right, we got three or four buck mule deer bucks down here in this draw. We got a guide and another hunter over here. Dan asked us to kind of spread apart a little bit. We don't know exactly which way they're coming. We got a guy, Steve and Chris, are going to try to push them this way. And hopefully one of the two of us will get a shot. I'm going to get up here on this ledge where I can get a good shot. Well, when we, just, we got close to the animal, we flipped the coin to see who would shoot, and Luke won the flip. So actually, me and Mark were kind of like just backed off as backup. Well, Steve. And Chris walked down the hill and, and kicked the biggest buck right, up. Mark, I think we need to move a little closer to that jaw. We ran our way. Um, Luke took a shot and missed. About two minutes later, the animal disappeared and come out right on top of Mark and I. He was running. We had to think fast to make a oh, quick shot. Oh, there he is, Mark. There he is. There he goes. Stop him. What do you think of that? <laughs> just Morris's reaction to harvesting this animal just made the trip for me. So we get our way to the deer, you know, and he's admiring this thing, and he's still on cloud nine over this, over this deer. And I'm trying to keep my composure from behind the camera, you know, because I'm just as excited as he is. And uh, you know, it's just, just an awesome time, a great guy, and I was just so happy to get to share that experience with him. About that, boys. 
Well, first off, we want to thank Sportsman in North America for lining this hunt up, making all this possible. I want to thank Steve Martinez from Southern Colorado Outfitters. My guy, Dan, last but not least, Mark. <laughs> thank you very much. I'm 46 years old, and the farthest I'd ever been west was Mississippi, so this was a real treat for me. I want to thank Sportsman in North America and everyone involved. You never know who you're going to meet. I mean, you make some, on some of these trips, you make lifelong friends. You, you just never know who you're going to meet, what's going to happen while you're on these trips. And to see the reactions on, on the winners' faces, you know, just to see the excitement in them and, and the smiles on their faces, you know, just, and it just makes me proud to be part of an organization like SNA that really does change people's lives. Thanks, Mark. And we'll have more high fives and hugs in just a few minutes. Welcome back. This segment is brought to you by Can Cooker. Hi, my name's Chad McDonald, and um, I'm a field producer here at Sportsman in North America. Um, I've been filming pretty much since the beginning. Um, we started in 2006 with the club, and then the show started in 2007. And I've gotten to film a lot of our winners throughout the years. And they're a lot of fun, you know, you get to meet a lot of, of different people from a lot of different walks of life, you know. You get to see the excitement, you know, on their face and just, you know, uh, be with them to share uh, these adventures. One particular hunt that, that really does hold a special place in me, the mule deer hunt that we do uh, with Earl Calhoun out in West Texas, and uh, I was filming um, our winner, Phil Ferrone. Another thing that was going to be cool about this hunt was uh, that I was going to get to guide uh, Phil. And it's neat whenever, whenever you know, I get to do something like that because, um, you know, filming, you're on the hunt, but whenever you're getting to help guide it, it's like you're hunting yourself. You know, it, it adds a degree of difficulty to the filming aspect of it, but it also, um, it, it's, it's, it adds another level of, of reward. So the first day was a complete, uh, it was a complete whiteout or gray out, whatever you want to call it, but visibility, you couldn't see 50 yards. When we woke up on day two, um, you know, it was a little discouraging. I mean, we had the same conditions as we did on day one and, and um, you know, we were ready to get after it. We, you know, we wanted the guys to have a great hunt. You know, you, there's things that you can control and things you can't control, and weather's one of them. Um, so we just hoped that at some point during this day that it would it would blow over. Well, about 10:30 that morning, the weather blew over. It finally, the clouds opened up. It was beautiful, sunny, bluebird, um, just a winter wonderland. The ranch is covered in snow. So everybody makes their game plans and decides what direction they're going to take out. Uh, my guy and I decided that we'd have a better chance of seeing game if we'd hoof it to the House Canyon and get up on top of some of these hilltops and look down into some of these arroyos and valleys and try and find some of these muleys bedded down. But it, it got really exciting. We had to hoof it a long way and we started seeing game and action started then. Okay, so now we're going to adhere to our game plan. Chad and I decide we're going to start walking some of these hilltops. It was brutal. It was really brutal. There, the wind was howling. The snow was blowing. And it, it, it was a job. It was work. It was a hunt. We're, we're, we're glassing this valley. And it was kind of funny because I was glassing over. And when I came over, I looked at Chad. And he was pushing me on like this. Come on. Come on. It was obvious he had seen something over there that was nice. He was a peach. I mean, he wasn't all that wide but nice and high, nice deep forks, definitely the one I wanted to shoot. So I got myself in the position, got ready, Bill walks up, he paws the ground a couple times, and beds down. So we're sitting there, I look at Chad, he looks at me, and he says, stay ready, stay ready, we'll get him up. Matt. Slowly walking up. Slowly walking up. She's the one on the right. They're together. The smaller one's going up. When Phil anchored that buck, there was such a wave of excitement and emotion between the two of us. Yeah, baby! Boom. 
I got them. I mean, the extreme conditions of the hunt, you know, getting out there and, and making that hike through the snow, up the rim rock, down the rim rock, in the wind, and then the sense of accomplishment. Um, you know, guiding my first hunter to his first mule deer buck. I mean, I was just, I, I felt so grateful and, and so satisfied with Phil's experience. I'm not a young man. My lifetime, a lifetime dream occurred right there. Thank you, Sportsman of North America. My ticket to the outdoor. No, get to a computer. It could be our ticket to the outdoors. Thanks, Phil. You too, Chad. More winners right after this. When we were sitting around talking about doing a winter show, everybody had their opinion of what made a good show. And for me, it's, it's the excitement of our winners. You know, there's a big animal to be excited about. There's the destination that we're taking them that's exciting, you know, if we go to Alaska, or if we go on a moose hunt, you know, a lot of people say that's what makes up the best show, but for me, it's just the overall excitement when, I, when, when we see uh, one of our winners take an animal that may not even be what we consider a real trophy, but for them, it's an experience of a lifetime and it shows uh, it shows in their emotions and that's what is special to me. That's what, that's what I love about our winners. Some of our best memories from our winners hunts has been on hunts like turkey hunts. Just because it's excitement of them doing something and being somewhere they may never have been without Sports of North America and that's what I love to see. You know for me there's just, there's, some, there's several hunts that stick out in my mind you know, um, from the early years actually. I guess when I was really, really involved in, in everything that went on, I can look back and, and I was on a lot of the hunts with the winners and their excitement got me excited. And you know, one of our very first hunts that we ever did was in Kansas. Jason McQueen took uh, a deer that we had on trail cam photos that was a really nice deer. And I remember being in the cabin when they were out hunting and them come pulling up and hearing Jason screaming and running in there and to get me and I got him, I got him. And, you know, so I go running out. And, Good stuff. Sportsmansna.com, brother, put me on a hog. Wow. This is a man that made it happen right here. You know, another one of my uh, great memories was from the early years. Uh, hunting with my cousin up on the Hackberry Creek in the Texas Hill Country and one of our winners was a female named Angie Potak and I remember how excited she was when she got her animal. We hunted kind of hard and and she had she had passed on some animals and then she she killed hers and, and I remember the footage watching the footage and, and hearing the cameraman Chad talk to her and calming her down. Good job. It's my first time to shoot out of a pop-up blind. These are, these are special times, as, you know, for me, looking back and remembering um, how Sports of North America affected our, our, our winners, our members. You know, we have certain hunts that the SNA team gets to be a part of, like our bear hunts in Saskatchewan with Darnie Kisslinger, one of our outfitters. Um, usually, Mike and I, or one of us is there with them, and. What a neat experience to get to see people see Canada for the first time and get to be on their first bear hunt. Because bear is not something in everybody's backyard like a whitetail. We've seen a lot of good hunts that with, with Arnie with our members and, and Howard Smith is one of them. Had a great time and uh, killed a nice bear and, and, and looking back at the footage he was just, you know, he was pretty fired up. And, So when our, when our winners get fired up, it fires us up. It, it, it puts a big smile on our face, and because uh, that's what it's all about. That's what Sports in North America is here, is to change people's lives and give them an experience that they may not get to experience without Sports in North America. And Howard Smith, that's one of those cases. I've just got to say, what are you waiting on? 
You know, sports in North America were changing lives every Sunday by giving away an outdoor excursion of a lifetime. I want to be talking about you next time. I want to be in camp with you next time. Get out there so you can come with us and we can be talking about you on our next The Best of Sportsman North America winners. Now don't you think you should become a member of Sportsman in North America? Look at the opportunities. You could be the next one. Well, I'm Mike McKay wishing you all the best here at Sportsman in North America. And remember, always hunt safe. Thanks for watching Sportsman of North America. Go to www.sportsmanna.com to catch all the episodes you missed. Don't forget, Sportsman of North America Hunt Club gives away a free hunt each and every week for an online social community for hunting and outdoors where you can meet other hunters and share photos, videos, and hunting tips. SportsmanNA.com is the new destination for you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Sportsman of North America, your ticket to the outdoors. We're changing lives one hunt at a time. Closed captioning is brought to you by Hunter Safety System. Saving lives is what we do. This has been a Sportsman Video Production.